Hello everyone. So I am currently sitting in the basement, or I guess not really the basement, but the ground floor of the Reformed Church of Conus. This is the room where they worship during the winter because the main sanctuary, which is on the second floor, is far too cold. Um, so I'm, I have a beer bine here today. It's a Lithuanian folk instrument that's very similar to the clarinet. Um, it uses all ten fingers. It has eight holes on this side and then two thumb holes. Um, I'm not entirely sure what type of wood this is made out of. I know this is some type of, I think, maybe cow horn, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, if you look closely at the mouthpiece, you can see that there's a clarinet reed that's tied to it. And the mouthpiece is actually very similar to a clarinet mouthpiece. This is my clarinet here. You can see that the clarinet has significantly more keys than the birbine, but they have very similar mouthpiece and reed structures. So while the fingerings are very different for the two instruments, a lot of the kind of mouth work going on is pretty similar. Um, the birbine has a lot of different tones that it can make. The lower range can sound full with the middle range, has um, a bit more of a mild texture to it, whereas when you start getting up into the higher octaves, it really has a very piercing sound. So I'm going to um, give you a demonstration of those different ranges. Let me just get my piece of wax paper in so that when my teeth are touching my lip, it doesn't roughen up my lip too much. So this is the lower range of the birbine. Uh, this is the middle range. And then when you start getting up high, things become much more piercing. So now I'm going to play a piece of um, klezmer music that was originally written for the clarinet on the birbine. Um, this, I don't know who originally wrote this tune, but it was arranged by a guy named Rudolf Maus. Um, the Yiddish name, I don't know how to pronounce. The English translation is Congratulations to the Bride and Groom. It has a bit of an Eastern European feel to it, so I figured it would sound good on the birbine. So, Here's a small taste of music that can be played on the birbine. that's the Birbine. Um, thank you all for your support. Thank you for your prayers while I'm over here. Please continue to pray that God would do um, a great work here in Lithuania and that we would see lots of healthy churches planted and, not, and lots of new believers come to faith. Thanks, and I hope to see you all in August.